The Bahamas, among a handful of countries surpassing the World Health Organization's conflict threshold in exposing children to high levels of community violence. This coming from a United Nations Children's Fund report, which examines violence against children in the region from as early as 2015 to last year. Coalition of Child Advocates President Patrice Hannah Carey chiming in on the findings. Truly, UNICEF in itself is bringing up an age old issue that has rippled right to the very root of our society at this time, especially post COVID 19. Homes and families, the safe havens for children are being disrupted because of the economic state of our people. It is, however, argued in the report that access to lethal methods such as weapons and firearms significantly increases the likelihood of death or injury, adding that homicide is one of the top four causes of death among adolescents in the region, noting a high annual death rate per 100,000 population due to violence for children at 3.4 per 100,000 in the Bahamas. Hannah Carey is blaming the country's lack of social support for leading children into a life of crime. As we speak now, consciously, I have uh, an individual, fourth grader, uh, a fourth grader, who at this time is known to say to be holding um, uh, uh, artillery. And I don't use the word artillery by joke uh, for maybe some senior individuals. But they now they use the, the, the socioeconomic state, the lack thereof of resources for these individuals. No food in the home. Mommy's pushing me out. Daddy's pushing me out. You better go out there and find something for yourself. Be nothing in here in our dialect, they would say. And so the kids are forced out there. Now, when looking at gender breakdown among children age 1 to 4, the number of deaths per 100,000 population due to violence is higher for boys than girls. Notably, the highest death rate was found among boys age 1 to 4 years in the Bahamas at 5 per 100,000. Another concern raised in this report was high rates of violence against women, referred to in the report as femicides. To that, Hannah Carey says this. Mothers. Mothers are forced to compromise based on the state, not only of themselves, but of their men. They're forced to, there's a compromise based on the state of their children. And so it's a revolving cycle. And so the, 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 the report may be um, um, coming out. And we're speaking to the report now. But the information is not new. What do we do about it and how do we get to the bottom of it uh, to bring about some resolve? That is the key issue here. The report also notes that there's been a significant increase in the homicide rate for females in the Bahamas, Belize, Cuba, Mexico, Paraguay, and Peru, while attributing social and gender norms as one of the reasons behind the increase. The report says these social norms condone and justify both violence against women and children in homes, families, communities, schools, and other private and public spaces. It goes on to say that social norms in the region lead to blaming the survivors, which discourages them from seeking help. Leah Cooper, Eyewitness News.